Hey everyone, welcome to Nims Toots, the tutorial show where we teach you how to build something awesome in Minecraft. Up to this point, we've seen many things on the show that'll quickly fill almost any storage space, such as the Iron Farm, the Melon Farm, or the 1.8 Villager Produce Farm, that gave necessity to having a large, expandable storage space. I'll be showing you two variations today. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to build two different types of storage array, uh, both of which have their merits. One of them's a little bit thinner. Uh, the other one is a bit, but it's long. And the other one's a bit fatter, but it's short, I guess is the best way I could explain that. So both of them are going to start out with a one by three pattern here with solid blocks. I'm going to show you how to do the minecart with chest first. So then we're going to build up some solid aesthetic blocks, build up one more, and then start adding your redstone lamps, which will act as your user interface. Add as many lamps as you want. You can basically think of each lamp being or representing one double chest. So let's now spin around to the back and start adding hoppers. I'm going to be using the hitbox of that rail. It's very small. And then I'm going to put a second hopper into the back of that one. Now we need to add chests as high as we have redstone lamps. So I've got four redstone lamps. So let's add four chests like so. And then we're going to start this pattern here. Every other one left, every other one right. Cool. And now we need to just add our comparators into the side of the front here. Uh, feeding out the back of the chests Very good so far and Then the last thing that we need to do is take this negative space here that exists between all the chest and fill that in with hoppers so Make sure that you're doing it just like this so that way the hoppers are feeding into the next chest now you can see looking at the hopper tails we can see the pattern or the flow of items is going to move something like that and then the great thing about this is we can now destroy that front rail and once we actually destroy that rail we'll want to place a solid block there so nothing can push this chest around now it's permanently in place and any items you put into the first array will feed into the bottom in the second storage array, we're going to start out with a roughly similar pattern, a uh, one by three row of aesthetic blocks. Instead of using a minecart, though, we're going to be using a dropper. Uh, so we've got three ways we can orient the dropper facing forward, which looks the worst in my opinion, facing backwards, facing backwards, which looks all right. It's kind of got a dual or a bifocal look or facing upwards, which in my opinion has the best aesthetic appeal. Then we're going to do the same thing is add redstone lamps all the way up and encase that with our aesthetic solid block of choice. Spin around to the back. We're going to use three hoppers now in kind of a V shape pattern like so. Place down a double chest kind of tailing off the back here. Then we need to continue building up as high as we have redstone lamps very similar to before then we're going to do that same alternating pattern but this time at a 90 degree angle uh, and then in the negative space again just like before we're going to be placing down hoppers in between the chests now we need to add our comparators our first one's really easy it sits right on top of that first hopper then we need to place another solid block comparator and this is where it gets a little bit fun. We're gonna be using the chests on the side here as our template. So we're gonna place solid block there and there. Then we're gonna be using the side comparators as our secondary template. And then we can place these comparators feeding into those. See how it creates that nice little pattern? Mmm, it's good. So now we can compare the two designs. Uh, so aesthetically, the dropper wins but the problem with the dropper is that it's only got nine inventory sl slots of space where the uh the chest here the minecart chest has much more than that um then the next thing that i wanted to look at is this one is a bit fatter it is three blocks wide whereas this one is only two blocks wide but this one is only two blocks in depth whereas this one is three blocks in depth so if you've got some oddly shaped walls both of these aesthetically look exactly the same of course you could swap out the dropper with the chest and the chest with the dropper and it does have to be a minecart with a chest it can't just be a chest in there because redstone lamps prevent chests from opening up i can't open this uh 
So we've got some options there. And then the last thing that I wanted to look at was how the flow of items work. Um, so the great thing about these two designs is neither of them will light up while the items are flowing through them. And that's due to the nature of hoppers. So hoppers can move the items out of the chests before the comparators can detect the items. That means that we're not gonna have any false positives. We're not gonna see anything happen until the items have settled into their final location. So if we were to, I'm kind of going to cheat force this here. If we were to have a stack of items that were to end up in this first large chest, you'd see our first redstone lamp will turn on. Then once that fills up and then the hopper relating to it fills up, the items will begin to hit the second chest and then that second lamp will turn on, etc, etc, all the way up as high as you've built your storage tower. And that is going to be it for this tutorial. My name is Nims, and this has been Nims Toots, and hopefully this toot didn't stink. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.